President Trump's expected meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is showing some signs of promise. Today, the North reportedly expressing a commitment to, quote, completely denuclearize without conditions, including dropping a demand for U.S. troops to withdraw from South Korea. That's according to South Korea's President Moon Jae-in, who's set to meet with Kim Jong-un in a historic summit next month. For decades, North Korea has viewed U.S. troops in that region as a threat. They've also used it to justify its development of its nuclear arsenal. On Wednesday, President Trump sounding optimistic about his meeting with Kim, but also left room to pull out if things don't go his way. If I think that it's a meeting that is not going to be fruitful, we're not going to go. If the meeting when I'm there is not fruitful, I will respectfully leave the meeting. Andy Card, former White House Chief of Staff and President George W. Bush joins me now. He's also an MSNBC uh, political analyst. Always good to have you. You heard President Trump there. The caveat, there's a lot of speculation at this point about how it's going to go, where the meeting's going to actually take place. This is uh, Rear Admiral James Stavridis on Morning Joe this morning uh, talking a little bit ab about the meeting itself. Take a listen. I think President Trump somehow feels he will walk in, slap the table like he's selling a building in Manhattan, and walk out the door to collect his Nobel Peace Prize. Ain't going to happen that way. Well, this is going to be a process that has to unfold. You share that assessment? Admiral Stravitas is exactly right. Uh, uh, this is not likely to be an event where the words spoken at the meeting are going to mean the end of the debate. Uh, you're going to have to have a lot of negotiations of what any agreement would mean. Uh, the president's going to have to make some tough decisions. Is it just about the nukes, or does it include all of the human rights violations that we know take place in North Korea? So this is very tricky. And we also don't have a track record of trust from the North Koreans. Uh, they haven't respected the deals they've made in the past. And You've so been around for some of those deals. Some of those deals. So it's very frustrating. And the other players in the greater community, China, Russia, Japan, all have have to be uh, cognizant of any deal that is made and be a winning partner. So a, it's a heavy lift to go into this. It's not, nothing you can do naively. I hope the White House is game planning lots of different options. And uh, President Trump, I think this is, is a remarkable opportunity. It's an unprecedented opportunity. It's kind of a dangerous opportunity as well, because uh, we have to game this place, this thing out and see what's going to happen and how to perform when you get into the meeting itself. And if the president does walk out on it, what does that mean? What are the consequences to that? Let's talk about uh, CIA Director Mike Pompeo, uh, currently the nominee for Secretary of State as well. The New York Times noting, quote, uh, however trusted by the president, Mr. Pompeo is hardly a traditional emissary. He is not yet the nation's chief diplomat, but a, a lame duck as the nation's uh, spy master. This is a president who's expressed a, a lot of confidence in Mike Pompeo. Is Pompeo the guy uh, to, to take these negotiations head on? Is Should he be our point man. Well, I, plink, I believe the president has the right to have a secretary of state that he wants. We don't want him to have a relationship with the secretary of the state where they don't talk to each other or don't find a way to common, uh, common understanding what to say in the diplomatic community. So if the president wants Mike Pompeo, Mike Pompeo, he's the right guy to be there. I happen to support him. I think that it was not inappropriate for him to go to North Korea as the head of director of the CIA. D directors of the CIA for virtually every president that I've been familiar with have traveled on kind of pre-diplomatic missions to figure out what might be going on. So I don't think that that was a bad thing for Mike Pompeo to have done. Do you I think, think the mistake was he didn't acknowledge it when he met with members of right. the Hill. Do you, do you, so you do think that lawmakers on the Hill should have been given a, a bit I of a heads I think they up. should have been, especially in the, the non-public aspect and in the intelligence committees, he should have reported on the trip. Or at least given the heads up. I went there. I can't tell you what I talked about. I know you're hopping on a plane tomorrow. You're going to head to Houston, Texas as this country gets ready uh, to remember uh, former First Lady and First Mother Barbara Bush. And uh, over the past few days, Andy, one of the things that struck me is so much talk uh, about her being a matriarch, the head of this political dynasty. But Barbara Bush was so much more than that. Oh, she was so much more. First of all, she was a conscience for truth. And I witnessed how she was a conscience to of, for truth with her husband when he was president, <laughs> with her son when he was president, and with the other boys in the family and the daughter, Darrell. Uh, she was a, a, a person who would weigh on you for a long time. So Barbara Bush may be gone now, 
but her conscience is still there, so she is a presence. Was she a matriarch kind of manipulating and coordinating? No. She was a matriarch because she lived a life that others should follow, and she called you to do the right thing. Uh, she was a point of light beyond comprehension. She was a very stellar example of what love is all about, and she loved her husband, she loved her children, and she was loving to everybody else. Sometimes that included tough love. Andy Card, we will leave it there. Always enjoy your uh, perspective, sir. Thank you. Safe travels Thank you, as well. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.